Well, power crews have since fixed the immediate danger here, but that owner says that he knew right away that his dog was getting shocked. Take a look right here. This is Lily. Uh, she knew uh, she is now OK after a trip to the vet. Her pads were though burned after that shock. It happened when she was walking near a light pole through a puddle. Uh, there were loose live wires hanging out of the pole covered now, of course, with tape. The Department of Conservation and Recreation says that the wire was likely damaged by a rodent that jolt traveled through the wet ground and zapped the dog. Put her mouth down to the to the puddle and she jumped four feet in the air and mm. she landed again and she jumped back up again and she was getting zapped the whole time. She, she was a victim. It could have been a kid. It could have been myself. It could have been anybody that stepped in that, that wet grass. What appears that the um, councillor Ed Flynn says similar incidents of dogs being injured or killed by stray electricity needs to be addressed. He wants a meeting with city departments to check for other trouble spots. Now tonight, DCR plans to check all of the light poles here on Castle Island to make sure that there are no other problem areas. We're live in South Boston, Sean Chai about WCVB News Center 5.